So I'm doing tutorials and um, truthfully, I am literally just setting up my phone on a stand while I get ready in the morning for work and I save it. And I had had clients multiple times asking me to show them how to do curls. And then I showed them in the chair and they're like, if you could just post a video or send email me a video of you doing it, I think I could follow that. I'm following your tutorials. I'm getting so good. Or they come in and their hair would look great. And I'm like, oh, your hair looks great. I followed your tutorial is what they would say. So um, my goal last year was to post three times every quarter or something. Um, but it just got easier because I would just started doing my makeup before I did my hair. And literally, I just recorded myself getting ready for the day, which we all do anyway. So it's kind of multitasking at the same time. Oh, I can never fix my hair like that. And I'm, then they try it at home and then they come in and they're like, I need your curling iron because mine doesn't work like yours. And I'm like, well, mine's longer. Da, 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 da. And then it helps me justify why I use what I use. Um, so tutorials have helped me get followers, helped boost the confidence of my clients because the confidence is higher when they see it on a tutorial because yep. they're like, oh, you can do it on yourself. That means I can do it on myself. So those are, um, I try to be do real life. Like when I go to the gym, I don't wash my hair every day and little things that we use for our own products. And it's kind of showing that a, to my clients that I have those products at home because it's in my bathroom and I use them. And so obviously if they're, you know, I, I'm going to invest in my hair also. And so then they're, they trust me more knowing that I use them personally. The great thing about Instagram is you get to pick and choose who you want your clients to be. Basically you get to stalk their profile and be like, yes, I want to get my hands on that hair. And then you follow them. And I, I do engage with everybody that likes and comments on my photos. Um, I, if they like my photo, I try to go, if they're a business, I try to find a way to share their business on my stories or something like that. Because if we all scratch each other's back, then it kind of goes full circle. Um, but they'll remember me when they get their hair done, because no matter what their business is, unless it's hair, they're gonna need their hair done. And so I do look at where they're from to see how much engagement I do. Um, I'll look at people that follow them. Like you really have to spend some time in Instagram. Um, you can't just open it and wait for people to follow you, but I do engage with them. I comment on them. I like to see their cute pictures of their puppies and stuff and their kids walking for the first time. And they think it's super cool that I comment and notice that. And then when they, come in for an appointment, I'm like, oh my God, I saw your son. He's so adorable or anything like that. 